it's Mindy here, and I'm so excited to be sharing with you this new tutorial that I'm, I'm doing. It's, it's a little something different than what I'm used to doing. It's not just a coloring tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you how to stitch this super cute llama from Neat and Tangled. And I wanna talk a little bit about the, the, the felt that I'm using. I had gone to Michael's and picked up this felt here. And as you can you could see, it's a little bit thinner. So I did have a hard time die cutting and it didn't cut all the way, so I had to trim it with my scissors. And this this is like the same, so if you, I don't know if you could see it in the video, but it's, it's really thin. If you hold it up against the light, you can see that, you can see light through it, so you can see that it's a lot thinner. And this felt here I got from Hobby Lobby, and it's a lot thicker, and it's a lot denser, so it has, it, the fibers are a lot closer together, so this, felt here cuts way better than the felt that I had got at Michael's. That's, it's um, the only best, the best way that I could describe it is, it's a little more hairier. It has a little bit more that fuzzy texture. So you wanna go with more of a, of a dense felt. It has, that, that has the fibers closer together. It makes it cutting out with the dies a lot easier. So we're gonna go ahead and create this super cute little llama and I wanted to go with a St. Patrick's theme, so that's why I went with the green. And I'm gonna show you how to get this rainbow effect using the Copic marker, so that'll be later in the video. Um, I've been really obsessed with these cute little felt critters. Thanks to Nicole Spohr, I, I absolutely love her videos, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna link to her below so that way you can go ahead and check out her tutorials and how she does it. She has some great tips and that's where I got this inspiration from for doing this tutorial. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is thread my needle for my llama's eye. So I'm gonna be using some black string and I'm going to make a little knot on the end and what I'm going to be doing is use is creating a French knot. So I'm gonna come up where I want my eye and pull it all the way through until the knot reaches the back of the felt. And then you're going to hold on to the yarn with, with this hand and you're gonna wrap the yarn around the needle two full times and then you're going to come right back down close to where you came up from the back side of the felt and you're going to keep this right here with your fingers keep that kind of snug and then you're just going to pull it all the way through and you have a cute little french knot for his eye so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot in the end so my French knot doesn't come out. And this is gonna be the inside, so we're gonna be stuffing it and you're not gonna be able to see any of that. So let's go ahead and try it again. And once again, we're gonna tie a knot on the end. And come up since this is gonna be the back side so now this is gonna be the front side of the other side so I'm going to try to go on the same spot pull it all the way through and again I'm gonna keep holding this this the, the yarn on the, with this hand and I'm gonna wrap around two full times and then close to the other knot. Gonna poke it through. 
hold on with your thumb to the piece so it doesn't come undone. And you have another French knot for his eye. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna trim this off. So I have a big enough piece back here. I'm just gonna tie these two pieces together. And trim off the excess. And now we are ready to start stitching our saddle. Okay, so I have my two pieces that we're going to be sewing together using a very simple running stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and take my the end of my ribbon and make a knot. And I'm gonna do it again to make a little bit of a bigger knot. And with the opposite end of the ribbon, we're gonna go ahead and thread our needle. So now I'm going to come up the back side of our little saddle. And we're gonna come right back down. And then I'm gonna come up. So there's gonna be a little bit of a gap between each of the stitchings until we go all the way around and start over again, filling in that gap. Okay, so we've made it all the way back around. So now I'm go now we're going to start back and we're going to take the needle and go right in back into this hole here. And then we're going to come up the opposite end into right in there. And go back down. So this time around it's just going in the opposite way so that way we're, we're having that complete stitch. So we'll go ahead and finish going all the way around our saddle. Okay, so I've lined up my llama on both sides with both pieces of the felt. I'm gonna go ahead and take my green ribbon. Again, I, I really wanna do a St. Patrick's Day themed llama. And now I'm going to, I'm gonna start at the tail and go all the way around the feet so that way I have enough room. And I previously made one and I actually did, and I left the back end of it open so I could push all the, the stuffing up there. It was really hard to get up in the head so I'm gonna leave this whole back part open so that way I can get it nice in his feet and up here in his face. So. Again, we're gonna do that same running stitch. And then we're gonna go ahead and tie this in a knot. And we're gonna cut off that X, that little piece of excess ribbon so it doesn't get in our way. And then I'm just gonna come right back down. And then right back up the, the next one. And right back down again, and so on, till we go all the way around. 
Okay, so now that I have gone all the way around the one time and I have the back open, I'm going to set my needle aside and we're gonna start stuffing it. So I have some, some filling here that we're going to fill our llama with. So I'm gonna start by pushing it up in the head first. I'm just gonna take a pencil and just kind of push it so it goes all the way up. And I'll take a little more. Also push a little bit down in the feet. Push some down in this foot over here. It's very narrow, so it's not gonna get all the way down in there, but it, it'll start to come down just so they, they stand up. So now that it's full over here, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch it closed until I get to about here, and then I'll finish filling in over there. if I don't wrap it all the way around my llama. So now I have just a little bit of opening, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of the stuffing. And just tuck that in, I think that's good. It's nice and firm, yet squishy, not, not too much, not too overstuffed, so it'll be okay, it'll still be okay to to do the, um, didn't go all the way through that one. So now we're back to where we started. So I'm gonna go in through this side here, right next to that knot on this side. And now we're just gonna continue going back where we don't have any stitching. And then once again, go completely around, all the way around the llama. Okay, so I'm all the way back around. I have one more stitch left, so there's a little space right in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it through. And now we're gonna create our knot so it doesn't come undone. Just trim that down. Maybe a little bit. 
bit more. All right, so now we are ready to go ahead and attach our little saddles here on the side. And I'm actually going to get a piece of ribbon so we can create and make a little loop so we can make like a little ornament out of this. Okay, so I have some ribbon, some twine here that we're going to use to create a tag. And before we glue any of it down, I'm going to, we're gonna create a tag for, for our little Irish llama here. So I'm actually using another stitched heart from Neat and Tangled and just to kind of get a, an idea of where exactly we're going to be doing our coloring. So in a rainbow order, I'm just going to take my Copic pen, my Copic markers, we're gonna be using R35, and for orange, we're using YR04, and then Y35, YG13, B12, and V12. So I'm just gonna take my, my red R35, and I'm gonna have the rainbow kind of start at an angle. So I'm just gonna make a couple of little strokes, just like that. And then we're gonna take the orange one, the YR04, and I'm just gonna come right down on the side of it, and I'm gonna go into the red a little bit because I want it to kind of blend together so it has that whole rainbow look. So if you need to, you might need to pick up your, your red again and go back into some of the orange. And again, with that YR04, just so we get a nice, good blend. And then I'm gonna take my Y35 and do the same thing. Since we're not using any colors in between, that's why you have to go back and kind of add that extra layer of ink so it all starts to come together. And now I'm gonna take my YG13 And then again with my Y35, come into that green a little. And now with my B12, and one more time with my YG13, just so I get a little bit more into that blue. And then again with the B12. And now with my V12. Back with my B12 to blend in that purple. All right, so we'll see. And it fits. So now let's go ahead and die cut Okay, so I have my, my, my heart die that we just colored, and then I also cut out a white one, so that way I can glue this one to the, to the back of this one, so that way we have a white area that we could write on our tag. Okay, set that aside. And then I'm actually going to take another piece of white cardstock and some score tape, that's, it's in a sheet. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. And then we're gonna stick one side to the white paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and die cut another heart out. So now I have another die, and we're going to be using this Nouveau Really Sheen Gold Glitter, because you can't have a St. Patrick's Day themed project without a little bit of gold and a rainbow. So I'm gonna set this down here. And sprinkle some of my glitter over the heart. and shake off the excess.
and now you have a gold heart that you can add as your tag on to your little St. Patrick's Day llama. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my crocodile and I'm gonna do a little hole right on that heart. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of this heart. So that way they can line up. And we'll thread the twine through. And then we're just gonna hot glue gun them on the inside part of the saddle and glue it all together. Okay, so I'm going to take the back of this and let's go ahead and put the hot glue gun all over. And then we're gonna glue these on the inside and then glue it to the top of the llama. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue it to this side. And now you have this cute little tag We'll turn this around so the hearts show. You have a little bit of gold glitter in the back and the rainbow heart. And it's super, super duper cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.